I'm in love with my wife Ariana. She's absolutely out of my league. She's a drop 10 dime. And I'm nothing more than just a nerd. Well, my marriage is shortly lived because I thought she was cheating on me at work, only to have the biggest secret exposed to me. And yes, it has something to do with my brother. People, uh, the craziest things happened, and now my entire relationship with my brother and family are at stake. You can call me OP. There's a lot of background information I need to go over, so this is going to be kind of long. But I need some advice on how to deal with this. My wife is furious, and my parents are upset with me, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to look at my brother the same way ever again after all this. Maybe some of you can relate to what's going on. First, let me tell you about my life. I live a pretty average happy life with my beautiful wife, Ariana. She's the woman of my dreams, and I've always been kind of a nerd. I was picked on a lot in school and never got so much as a date from a girl around me. I was a late bloomer, is what they say. So I can't even believe a woman who's so out of my league would have given me a chance. She could have any guy on the planet she wanted, but we hit it off in college. And I eventually worked up the nerve to ask her out. It was the best decision of my life. Look, I'm not complaining about having a beautiful wife because there are far worse problems a man can have. But I won't mince words here. Ariana is hot. And she's quite aware of the effect that she has on men around her. This has created some rather uncomfortable situations for me in the past. Such as when men try to hit on her in public and things like that. Not to mention my brother Caleb has had a huge crush on her since the moment they met. I don't mean to sound insecure, but this has caused me some stress in the past, as you can imagine, and I've brought up the issue to Ariana before, and she just laughs it off as something innocent and harmless. She did not think Caleb would ever violate the boundaries of Ariana and my relationship. Here's the thing. I love my brother, Caleb. Don't get me wrong, but I know him like the back of my hand. The guy's 24 years of age, can't hold down a job, acts creepy and awkward around women, and he's a total slob. He can get the occasional girlfriend, but none of them have ever looked as good as Ariana. Caleb was uh, still standing too close to Ariana, and he'll follow her around uh, like a puppy dog whenever he visits. It always makes me uncomfortable, but again, Ariana does not seem to mind, so I did not press the issue. One night, when Caleb was drunk as a skunk... He even confessed to me that I've married the hottest girl in the town. I appreciate the compliment, but I also felt a tad bit uncomfortable at the notion that my brother was so openly lusting for Ariana. Of course, I simply convinced myself I was being insecure and overreacting, and boy, I should have woke up sooner. So, about a month ago, Caleb fell into some dire financial straits. He's a heavy drinker, and frankly, my parents have always spoiled him and gave him money to blow. He always goes out, acts stupid, and then just asks for more money. Caleb apparently went to work with an intense hangover from partying the night before, and he told his boss to go jump off a cliff. As you can probably imagine, he was fired on the spot. Caleb was already on the verge of being broke when this happened, so he's asked Ariana and me if we could be willing to help him move in with us, while he gets back on his feet and got his life in order. Frankly, I was a bit skeptical of the whole proposition, not to sound callous or like I did not care for my brother, but I did not really want Caleb to stay under the same roof as Ariana. And even if I had not been concerned about that, I did not necessarily trust Caleb to keep his word when it comes to getting back on his feet. He'd already taken advantage of my parents' generosity, and I was not interested in becoming a walking ATM, giving out constant handouts to Caleb, and to say I was hesitant to take this on would be an understatement. Of course, when I brought up the issue to Ariana, she acted shocked and appalled that I would even question Caleb's request. Of course we should let Caleb stay with us. He's your brother, she shouted at me. I tried to explain that she doesn't know him like I do. After all, the guy's my brother, for crying out loud, but Ariana clearly would not give him a chance to get back on his feet and just lend him a place to stay. I'll admit, one thing I love most about Ariana is her ability to see good in others. But after everything that ended up happening, I wish I would have just trusted my instincts, guys. I really, really do. As if Ariana's approval of Caleb staying with us was not enough to stress me out. Not even one day after Caleb's request, I received a call from my parents who were practically begging me to let Caleb move in with us and Ariana for a while. 
I understood my parents' motivation. They probably just wanted Caleb out of their hair, but they clearly cared for him. And after giving it some thought, I realized I wanted the best for my brother as much as they did. So I reluctantly agreed to Ariana and my parents' request and gave Caleb the okay to move in. Admittedly, things were going far more smoothly than I had imagined when Caleb first moved into my place. It even seemed like Caleb was trying to get away from his old habits and change his ways. He helped Ariana out with household chores, and I just suspected he was likely only volunteering so he could be closer to Ariana. But I didn't mind. I do appreciate the help, and so did she. Caleb cut down on his alcohol consumption, and he started applying for jobs as soon as he moved in. It seemed like Caleb was truly to change his behavior and just get his life back on track. He even acted a lot less creepy around Ariana and I was starting to feel proud of the guy. Unfortunately, Caleb seems to have a compulsion for sabotaging everything that he touches. Everything good he's ever got from him, uh, Caleb somehow manages to shoot it down in flames. You see, Ariana recently found her belongings going missing with an increasing frequency. Initially, we both assumed that she had simply misplaced a few things. I've come to expect this, however. What Caleb chose to do, um, sabotage his situation, is entirely bad this time. I did not see it coming at all. This brings us to the reason I'm even writing this post to you all today. Ariana does have a tendency to be forgetful and a tad bit scatterbrained. So, it was not out of the realm of possibility for her to misplace her belongings. But there was a pattern emerging with the items that were going missing. Pieces of jewelry were disappearing, articles of clothing such as undergarments were going missing as well. Ariana's not one to misplace her underwear, so I had a best bad feeling about this. A couple weeks later, uh, the belongings were still going missing. I happened to be in the guest room one day, doing some cleaning. Caleb had been staying in the guest room, and it was starting to look like a pigsty. I opened the closet to straighten things up and do some dusting, and what I saw buried in the back of the guest room closet made my jaw drop. Sitting right there in the closet were not just numerous pieces of jewelry that Ariana had specifically mentioned going missing, but there was also a mountain of pile of dirty undergarments. I immediately recognized these as Ariana's. I was floored, shocked, and most of all, I was nearly seeing red with rage. I could not believe this. How could Caleb be such a pervert and to betray my trust and my wife's trust like this after we've been so generous and helpful to him was simply despicable? It was, you know, clear as day that Caleb has been digging through her dirty laundry and picking out Ariana's underwear to God knows do what. People, that's a textbook predator behavior. As you might imagine, Ariana was shocked and appalled to find out this as well. She feels violated still and confused and flat out gross. After I gave her the news, we discussed what to do, unanimously decided we must remove Caleb from the home. I simply cannot trust my brother to control his sick and twisted desires in the presence of Ariana. So, when I confronted Caleb, it was not an easy conversation to have. He denied what he did at first, but when I told him I'd found them in the guest room closet, he broke down and admitted he has a problem and needs help. I love my brother, but I admit that during this exchange, I did not feel the least bit sorry for him. This was my wife that we're talking about, and he had the nerve to go and try to pull this crap in our home. Caleb begged and pleaded for a second chance, but I told him under no circumstances would we be allowing him to stay even one more night in our home. Caleb silently packed up his things and hit the road to my parents' place. As you can imagine, this has been a huge pill to swallow for us. Ariana still feels disgusted, and to top it all off, my parents aren't responding to the situation the way I hoped for. My mom and dad actually seem to be taking Caleb's side in all this. They called me up and tried to tell me Caleb was sorry for what he did. They bragged to reconsider forgiving and forgetting about all this and simply allowing Caleb to move back into the home. Can you believe the sheer madness? I mean, Caleb has clearly manipulated mom and dad into thinking he's somehow the victim in the whole situation, which is not surprising because he's always been a master of puppets when it comes to those two. They've always just been buying into his lies and straight up malarkey. Well, anyways, I simply cannot give Caleb another chance after this. Even if I believed he truly wanted to get help for his twisted mental problems and turn his life around, I just straight up cannot supersede Ariana's wishes. 
and simply allow this man in our home when we both know what he's thinking about doing when we weren't around. Who would even consider going through their brother's wife's laundry? Who could have such a lack of respect for social norms and general decency? Guys, what do I do? I do need a bit of advice. Well, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened. I don't know how I'll be able to look at my brother again. And today, Ariana's informed me that she does not want us associating with my parents anymore. Uh, due to the fact that they have foolishly defended Caleb. What's funny is my parents won't even acknowledge what Caleb did out loud. It's like they can't believe their little baby, Prince Caleb, is secretly a pervert. In addition to being an alcoholic and a general bum, which is something that they're also aware of. Please, guys, um, give me advice. You're my only hope. Update number one. Hello, OP here with an update for you all. First, I'd like to thank everybody for the huge outpouring of sympathy and compassion I got from the most of the comments. I was surprised that many of you had dealt with similar issues. It's honestly reassuring to know I'm not the only one out there with a completely messed up dysfunctional family. Many of you said I should go completely no contact with Caleb and my parents. Some of you left some comments that were quite critical of me for allowing Caleb to move in with Ariana and me. To begin with, well, oh boy. I wish I had been sat down and given some truth sooner before all this crap ever happened. However, the reason I'm giving you all this update today is for something even crazier. I'm still not even quite over the stress of what happened with Caleb and his collection of my wife's undergarments. Unfortunately, life has a tendency to throw curveballs at us. They say when it rains, it pours, and they're certainly applying to my life right now. Because I got hit with another bombshell today, and I have no idea what to do. My whole uh, worldview has been shaken to its foundation recently, and things have only seemed to have been getting worse. You see, I received a friend call, a request from a stranger on Facebook today. A mysterious profile named Jeff. Before I accepted the friend request, I persuaded the man's profile and just saw that he worked for the same company as Ariana and he lived in our town. So I figured it might be somebody from high school and I'd possibly forgotten, so I accepted the said friend request. When I accepted that friend request, I get a message from Jeff. He tells me that he had some information about Ariana I would like to know. So I was obviously so intrigued what this guy... Uh, well, what he told me shocked me and floored me. Jeff claimed that he and Ariana were co-workers and that they had recently gone on a date. He told me several details that unfortunately confirmed to me that he indeed knew Ariana. He knew personal things about her that would only be known from getting to know her personally. He said that they've gone on a date to Ariana's favorite restaurant. He also said that Ariana's been lying to all her co-workers and telling them that she was single. None of them even had any idea she had a husband or I even existed. Guys, at this news, I'm actually heartbroken, and I don't know what to do. My relationship with my brother and parents has been on what you would call a very shaky ground. Ugh. So I've been stressed out of my mind and then to find out after all my hard work to defend Ariana, she would dare go on a date with another man. Uh, I don't know. Did she think that I would not find out? This is madness. Please give me your best advice. I need it like a fish needs water because I feel like my whole life is falling apart in front of my eyes. Update number two. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your advice. Many of you have suggested uh, lawyering up, hitting the gym, deleting social media, and other useful ideas. I certainly have a lot to ponder. I still feel as if my heart has been trampled by lions. Before I took any action, I decided to explain the situation to my family. I told Ariana I was going to uh, the park for a jog, but I was secretly visiting my parents' house. Obviously, I did not want Ariana to know. I spoke to my parents and explained everything. I broke down crying and they gave me a hug and Caleb joined in as well. He apologized again for what happened with Ariana's undergarments. And after having a long heart to heart, I realized I needed my family's support now more than ever. I told Caleb I planned on confronting Ariana and I wanted him to be present to support me when it happened. I had a lot to prepare for. Ariana is somebody who I thought was the love of my life and now I realize I can't even trust her. I still had a bad feelings about what Caleb had done. After all, I've not forgotten that he violated my trust and violated the rules of my household by snooping around and engaging in my perverted and strange act, but 
However, blood is thicker than water, as they say, and I must forgive Caleb for what he did. His support is crucial to me right now. I went back home and Ariana was shocked to see Caleb. She looked afraid and demanded to know why Caleb was in our home. So I explained this was no longer our home. Ariana asked me what the heck I'm talking about. So that's when I mentioned her co-worker Jeff. And of course Ariana feigned ignorance, but I told her I knew all about the date that she went on with Jeffrey. I told her I knew all about how she had lied to all her co-workers and told them that she was single. I told her I knew about how none of her co-workers even knew I existed. Ariana denied everything and began sobbing, but I had a feeling it was only because her web of lies have gone up in flames. Caleb was by my side, supporting me the entire time, and Ariana stormed out of the house and said she was going to stay with her parents, and I decided to let Caleb stay the night with me to keep me company because I truly needed it right now. I feel so alone and isolated, I must admit I'm not sure which direction my relationship will go. It's possibly my relationship with Ariana might be gone forever. I only wish that she would just tell me the truth instead of doubling down on the lies. My heart aches. Wish me luck. Update number three. Hello guys, um, OP here with another update. Thanks again for all the compassionate comments and good advice I've been receiving from most of you. I truly appreciate it right now when I'm feeling like the entire world is simply against me. I'm going to cut right to the chase here. I spoke to Ariana and she continued to deny the allegations. I began sobbing on the phone and demanding to know the truth. Why would I not believe a beautiful woman like Ariana might not want to shop around a bit with other men? I'm just a nerd and she's a gorgeous woman. Based on Jeff's profile picture, Jess is everything I'm not. Tall, handsome, built like a machine, and he obviously works out. What motivation would this man have to lie to me? Ariana keeps insisting she was innocent. Finally, she said she wants a divorce. Hearing the words spoken out loud stunned me and made me feel horrible. It stung me like a wasp. But perhaps divorce is the word we both needed to acknowledge. Clearly, if Ariana was unwilling to own up to her lies and her betrayal, divorce was the best option. So, we agreed to begin the proceedings. The only positive news I can share with you all right now is I'm growing much closer to my brother, Caleb. I've decided to let him move in. Because frankly, when my home is empty, it seems like all I can think of is Ariana. I need Caleb's support right now, and he's been a great brother throughout the whole thing, despite his many flaws and issues. All I can hope for now is to find some way to pick up the pieces to carry on through this divorce. I still love Ariana, but I know this is the best move for the both of us. Update number four. OP here. I'm back with another update. I thought my previous updates would be my last because I uh, thought beginning the divorce proceedings could speed up this chapter of my life so I could move on to the next one. But the universe seems to be unable to stop itself from using me as its personal punching bag. I can't believe what I found out today. I don't know what to think anymore, and I don't know who to trust. I've been a complete and utter fool this whole time. Caleb had left the house to pick up some lobster from Long John Silver's. I had some things I needed to do, and my computer was having issues, so I decided to borrow Caleb's laptop. He had never had an issue with me using his laptop before, and I had no intention of snooping through Caleb's stuff. I'm not that type of brother. Without even thinking about it, I decided to check my Facebook page, so I clicked on Facebook. What I saw made my jaw drop. I felt like I was going to pass out and hit my head on the floor, and I saw what I saw on the computer screen. Remember Jeff, the mysterious Facebook profile who had sent me the information about Ariana dating her co-worker and being unfaithful? Well, the same Jeff who had sent the very messages that essentially triggered the downfall of my marriage and the ensuing divorce proceedings. Caleb was logged into his exact same profile on his computer. I went through the inbox and saw one conversation. The only conversation it had. The one with me. It was clear to me that Jeff has been Caleb the entire time, which makes sense now because when I had persuaded his profile... I did not see his pictures. Instead, there were pictures of our town and the company, which now I believed were random pictures of a random company. Caleb was not home yet, so I called Ariana right away and told her what happened. The phone went straight to voicemail, so I decided to message her on Facebook, but she had already removed me as a friend. I texted her phone directly, but I got a message saying my message was undeliverable. 
I need Ariana to know I'm sorry. I need Ariana to know I've made a giant mistake and I'm willing to do anything on Earth to rectify the situation. I just want the love of my life to come back. Caleb got home and I sat at the kitchen table waiting for him. He could see the look of anger on my face and asked me what's up. I told him I knew everything. I told him I'd taken screenshots of the profile and everything and I knew that he was Jeff all along. Caleb tried to deny it, but even he knew that he's been backed into a corner. So he began to sob and admit that he's been jealous of my marriage the entire time. This hurt me to my core. My own brother was so envious of Ariana and my love that he had just had to find some way to destroy it. I was so angry that I hit him across his side of the cheek and I was seeing red and so I did not even realize that both Caleb and I were on the floor fighting each other and throwing blows one after another. At some point he kicked me out and before I could get a hold of him, he ran outside of the house. I yelled at Caleb, warning him that he needs to get away from me and leave my home and never come back. I'm so confused right now. Guys, what the heck am I going to do? As I type this out, Ariana's still not responding to my messages, and I just hope that she gets this is all a big misunderstanding and Caleb is a jerk. Final update. Hey guys, OP here and this is it. I think I need a long, a long break from the interweb. I need to get far away from everything in life and take some time to reflect on how I ended up in such a miserable mess. Just uh, several weeks ago, my life was totally different, and I could never have imagined I'd end up where I am now. I've not spoken to Caleb or my parents since the horrible information I found out the other day, you know, regarding the fake profile of Jeff. What could they possibly say to help me or make this situation better? They've only undermined me and made my life worse than my entire existence. I finally got in touch with Ariana. I was ecstatic when she finally responded, but she would not even speak to me on the phone. She just sent me a long text explaining her thoughts on everything. She told me that since moving back in with her parents, she has reconnected with a neighbor with whom she had grown up. She informed me that she's been dating that man, and she pointed out that clearly there were men out there besides me who are willing to trust her. She informed me that she had every intention to continue with the divorce. She said something that cut me to the core. Your insecurities. That's what ruined our marriage. I hate to admit this to myself, but Ariana was right. She was absolutely right. So I typed out a long response to Ariana, pleading for her to reconsider and just give me one final chance. I pleaded for her to remember our history, the love that we shared, and when I clicked send the message... It did not go through. I was informed that I've been blocked. She also blocked me on Facebook, and when I called her number, she ignored me yet again. This is going to be a long, hard road for me. I need to step away from everything and think about things, clear my head, and get my life back in order. I've lost my family, and I've lost the love of my life because I was insecure. This is one of those stories that we just can see. It's not very wise to jump to conclusions. OP, as hard as it was for him, should have heard out his wife, listened to Ariana, and just understood this was another red flag. A guy randomly coming out of nowhere you've never seen before. A really handsome profile. I mean, come on. This was a classic case of being ghosted. This was obviously not the person in the profile picture, and OP learned the hard way. Guys, I had this instinct that was the brother the whole time. Turns out it was. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think, what you would have done, and what you would have done when OP's wife says, you know what? I'm not taking you back, and I'm actually seeing someone. That would be pretty devastating, and I would have cut off the brother so long ago. The second he's taking my wife's undergarments, uh, yeah, bro, you're out of here. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the stories. My name's Mr. Redito. I narrate stories like this every day, so if you do want to be a part of these daily readings, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, and of course, remember, it's cool to be kind. See ya.